back to the Brick Station. And this is a late review on the Star Wars Rancor Pit. This is set 75005. It has 308 pieces. Recommended ages are 8 to 14. It retails $60. We just got this at Lego store for my brother for Tyler's birthday. Um, if you've seen a past video, you know who he is. So anyway, here is the back of the box. So this set has one ginormously huge um, instruction manual. Huge. I can cover up the whole set and you can't see it with it. So let's check this set out. Okay, so here is the Rancor Pit. This is a very cool set we have here. First, we're gonna do, it does come with a brick separator like the large sets do now. First of all, we have the Rancor Keeper, Malakili. He has, let's see, my camera has focused. He has a brown hood. He has kind of a concerned face on the side. He has this cool little staff thingy here, and he has a key. And um, uh, he's got some cool moss green legs here, and um, with brown hips. He has a double-sided head, and on this side, we will turn his head around. He has hair on his chest. You can see he's crying like a little baby girl because his pet Rancor is dead. We get a skeleton, pretty cool skeleton here. And he doesn't play any part in the set, but show that someone got killed. Well, one was in there and was unfortunate. Um, here's Luke Skywalker minifigure. He has a bone. He has his blonde hair, Jedi Knight robes, new for 2012 and um, 2013. And then we have his double-sided face on this side. He is kind of uh, ready to go, concerned a little bit. And then on this side, he is happy. I don't see how anyone could be happy when you're stuck inside of a big old pit with a giant beast, the Rancor. We're about to come up on him. We're going to do him with the Gamorrean Guard. So, first of all, We'll move him closer so you can see him better. He has his arms and his huge claws on his fingers and very long fingers. He can hold a minifigure in his hand like this, and this is the Gamorrean Guard. The Gamorrean Guard, basically a pig. Here's his headpiece, head and torso. This is called a sandwich board. Lego uh, specialists or whatever call this a sandwich board head or body or whatever and then a plain brown torso with moss green or sand green arms I think it's moss green and then those exclusive legs and then um, he looks like that it looks like a big pig with a snout and everything but um, the Rancor is very awesome he has this chain on his arm he has an opening jaw you can see on the box it doesn't actually show it as a feature that his mouth opens. It shows his mouth open right there, and right there, and right there it shows it closed, as well as there. It does show this. You could put a minifigure in his mouth. So you may catch on to the fact that you could stick a minifigure, the Gamorrean Guard, for example, in his mouth. And... It, he can chew him up and get the minifigure. Okay, that's too bad. We lost the Gamorrean. Okay, this brings me to another point. Minifigure parts can get stuck in there, so his jaw is detachable for that reason. Oops. And, uh, he looks like, he looks weird with his jaw missing. He looks like an angry monster. Oh, uh, hmm. looks like he had chicken legs stored away between the bottom of his 
the floor of his mouth and his tongue. Hmm. So he is huge. He's got that huge snout. His nose is huge. He could probably smell predators five miles away. Or prey. Actually, I don't think he has any predators. Maybe the Hulk would be a threat to him. Yeah, I think the Hulk would be one of his only threats. He can take down virtually anything else. I actually have the Wampa here. Let me compare these two real quick. Big size difference. And the Rancor could just smash this little dude. I can't review that set because I got the Wampa by itself on Bricklink. So let me do the Gamorrean Guard a favor and give him a little head back. I don't think he had a weapon in this set. No, he just had the chicken leg. No weapons. Okay, enough with the figures. Let's go move on to the set itself. We move over here and we have a bunch of extra pieces right here. We were missing two pieces in this set. Um, I will show you in another video how you can get replacement parts on lego.com. And here are the two pieces we were missing. It's supposed to be two two of these gray one by one piece bricks. We were missing two one by one gray bricks, so we had to put these gold ones there because we couldn't find any more gray ones in our eat me or Tyler's collection. This is Tyler's set. Let's start on the front. Of course, the portcullis gate goes, you have to pull this little thing out, this little, see that right there? You have to pull this out so that you can lift the gate up. And then you push it and some Technic pieces go. And that's pretty cool. The skeleton is inside there. He's got a new face. I don't know if I told you that. He's got a new face on there. And the red court just barely fits inside there. It can't be too comfy in there. Um, that's how he died is the gate fell on him. But when you look at that, that's not too comfortable looking, is it? I mean, would you want to be the Rancor right now? No, probably not. And uh, that gate shuts on him, and he's mad now because he can't get out of that crammy little space. We can do this too. Pull that, and this comes open. And now he can run out and uh, kill some people, maybe. Try and eat you guys. Man. Oh. If you could, if you could uh, smell his breath right now, man. You would pass out. That's, I'm not, I'm not joking. Right here we have a little door, a uh, little gate door. I just bumped the camera. He, Alakili, or the Rancor Keeper, can throw his staff down, take that key out of his hand, and give him his other face so that he can just go and walk in through there, feed the Rancor, um, and we shut this gate, it's really cool piece, the gate, it's one by one. So we shut this gate, move the key, and uh, it clips onto a brick in there. Right there, that bar, there's a clip on the other side, on the other side of the door, right there, there's a clip. So we shut that, and it clips, and then we have this cute little baby pail right here. He can just hold it like this. No wonder the Rancor hated him. I mean, if that's all he's feeding him, that little tiny bucket, I don't know what kind of Lego piece that could, maybe a one by one round plate. But that is just, that's dumb. Let's see if this plate goes in there. Nope, not even a one by one round plate goes in there. If he can eat a human, why are you feeding him from a little bucket? Just a little tiny pail. We got another key, a duplicate key. Up there, he's got two keys. It's not fair. He's got a pitchfork here. A rake that he uses to jam it in the Rancor's eyes or something when he disobeys. I haven't actually seen the movie, so I don't know how everything goes. It goes like that and jams it in his eyes when he disobeys. I mean, that, that Rancor just hates this guy. He's so cruel to him. Okay, so, Rancor's inside. Let's, um, turn, let's move all this junk off the thing. 
We turn this around, and the gate opens, the door opens like that. We keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. And I have this side, so this opens up a little rock crevice. It's perfect for hiding Luke when he wants to hide from that dumb old rancor. He can hide in either this half right here on the studs and then close it and he still stays in there or we can put him in those studs I would feel safer in there then close it on him. Either way he's safe hidden inside that rock with some hinge plates to give it that feature. He's like yippee I'm gonna die. He's got four of these really cool rock pieces in it. Actually one, two, three, four, Five. We got five of those rock pieces in this set, and these pieces are really cool. Uh, I only have one brown one, so. Skeleton head here. We're actually supposed to have it like this. We lift this off. The skeleton head lifts up this board. And then there's a key in there. I bet that would have really been helpful to Luke if he had known that was there in the movie. Doesn't that really stink? Cause then he had to jam the bone in the Rancor's mouth and try and choke him to death, and that probably wasn't a very pleasant experience. And you can actually, in the set, you can slam it down on the Rancor's back. Cause if he tries to get out of that thing, he's he's dead meat. Cause uh, man, that would be a long, a long week of feasts for. Um, I don't know, the Republic Army, the entire Republic Army. If his feet will go on the thing, I will show you. Zoom in. Boom. Wait, boom. It falls on his back. And then we... Boom, he's dead. Pretty bad. But the Rancor is definitely an epic figure there and um he uh, uh, just i just um now he's not crying because the rancor is dead even though you can't see his face his ugly little face he is crying like a little baby and um he's crying because he's about to get eaten by the one who hates him oh that rancor is not very polite he doesn't have good manners uh so that's it now let's I'll get, tell you what I think about this. So that is the review on the Rancor Pit. This set is very awesome. Um, it has some cool secret com hidden compartments in it. The bone goes in the Rancor's mouth and just kill him. Okay, they glued it back together because in the movie the bone actually broke. So they glued it back together for the set. That was very kind of them. As it did snap in half, and they just glued it back together. Super glue. Something like that. Something to hold that together. Not tape. No, that would stink. This Rancor. Let's see. I am awesome. He rocks. He's king of the world. Or so he thinks. That wussy little Wampa can't do nothing to him. You put this little, this poor little guy in his cage. And he is toast. He would spit it out just like this. I missed the camera. That what happens when you mess with this bad boy right here? I like all the features of this set. I like the cracks and crevices. I like this rock. That he can, that Luke can hide in. I think that's a really cool feature that they added to this set. Um, that I cannot. I really like this crevice that I can't crevice that I can't put Luke in. Finally, I like the portcullis gate. How it you hold it up and it falls like that. That would be painful if we put a minifigure under there. Wonder how it happens. Let's do Malakili because I really don't like that guy. Let's do it on his back. That'll hurt. Ready? Here we go. Let's do this. Oh! I 
hope that hurt. Okay. Um, ratings, ratings, ratings. Uh, printing on this set, I rate 7 out of 10. It has a lot of really cool printing. I really like the, um, the Rancor print has good printing on the eyes. It's not a lot, but it's really cool because it really, what are you doing? It's really cool because it really exaggerates his evilness, just the look of his eyes. And, uh, some really cool printing, especially on this dude right here. Very cool minifigure we get here. Um, playability on this set, 10 out of 10. You can do anything with this set, especially with this awesome beast that is included in this $60 set. I forgot to mention this set does include four numbered bags. Durability, it's pretty sturdy, so 10 out of 10 probably. The pricing, 60 bucks, I think it's worth it. And though it's only 380 pieces, it's still a really good deal because this Rancor is what makes it. You might just get the set for the Rancor and some of the minifigures and for nothing else, maybe not even for the model. And then age rating, um, let's see, the ages are 8 to 14. That's a good age rating because younger kids will get irritated with some of the few pieces that fall off easily, such as these torches that I did not show you in the review. Then those flames might fall off easily. And um, they may get irritated that the gate is hard to open because that Technics thing is can get irritating at times. And um, sometimes when you try to put the trap door thing back on, it can get hard because it keeps going to fall into the thing there. That can be irritating. So the age rating probably what it has, 8 to 14. Yeah, I would definitely say 8 to 14. 10 out of 10 for the age rating on this set. And... I like that it comes with Brick Raider. If you have $60 and you want a Star Wars set and you don't have any big figs or mega figs or large figs, whatever you call them, I call them mega figs yet. If mega figs, if you don't have any mega figs yet and you want the biggest of them all, definitely get this set, the Rancor Pit. Thank you for watching this review, and we'll see you next time here on. Yeah. Brick Station.